Good morning from Whitby Beach. It is about quarter to eight. We missed the sunrise by about a half an hour. Abby and Athena are up there running around in the park somewhere. And I am set up under this little picnic shelter here. I'm gonna make some breakfast. It is chilly, chilly. It's about six degrees Celsius when we left home. When we got down here to the beach, it's about five degrees Celsius. You're gonna have to look that up and find out what that is in Fahrenheit. I'll tell you that it's just above zero. And with the wind, it's really chilly. I pulled out my puffy jacket for the first time this year. It's okay. Happy, happy girls over there playing. We stopped at Tim Hortons drive through on our way. So everybody has a nice hot chocolate ready to go. One, two, three. We're gonna cook some breakfast. We've got bacon, we've got eggs, we've got tomato, we've got croissant buns, we've got grass-fed butter, we've got cheese slices, we've got ketchup, hot sauce, pepper. I have a seasoning thing here somewhere. I don't know where it went. Uh, we've got cold steel pan from Cheesehead Chris. We've got my little aluminum pan. I've got my Ohuhu stove that I'm going to fire up with pellets. Um, we've got some extra food and drink and cutlery and stuff over there. We've got some bowls over there. If we don't freeze out once we get our eggs cooked and stuff, I might attempt to bake. This is a baking kit I've got over here. And we've got an extra water bottle, my crusader kit, and tools. The children have beckoned me. Mom, Mom, Jackie, come, come. So I am going, going, going over here, here, here. I don't think it's an emergency. But... Yep. I am taking a video. That's a good way to stay warm. I mean, I've seen them have the whole park to themselves this morning. This is a long overdue sunset breakfast date that we had planned with Athena a really long time ago. And we never did it. We we're going to do it in the summer when it was warm. Are you having fun? Yeah. Excellent. Look at that light coming through the trees over there. It's so beautiful out here. I'm going to go start cooking, okay? Okay. Because I am starving. <laughs> that right there. I think it's probably going to save our butts this morning. Abby came down here this morning when we left the house at 7 o'clock wearing flip-flops and no socks. Anyway, in there we have uh, three or four extra sweaters, one sleeping bag, and one whoobie. So hopefully if anybody gets cold, they can just bundle up. I'm going to get some hot food going here. And that will help. I'm going to drink my hot chocolate and just enjoy this beautiful morning. kind of wish we had a... A little better exposure, but whatever. The sun is over there. <laughs> the wave sun, lovely. All the screaming kids are that way. And all the quiet peacefulness is this way. <laughs> all right, let me get this little stove going so I can do some cooking. I'm just gonna set up here at the corner of the shelter, right on the concrete. The hoo stove is so great. Take the bottom, flip it upside down, so the fat part at the bottom. And here you got two rings on one side, single on the other, double side goes down. This is the little insert. Couldn't be simpler. Pop that in there. There we go. And then mine has on the top, a ring to go on the top, and then also a grill as well. Really important that you use this. If you put your pot right on top of the stove without this part, the fuel goes out. <laughs> today I'm gonna to try wood pellets. I haven't done it for a long time. We do have a trusty stash of birch bark in here. Love birch bark. So I'm gonna fill that up almost to the top. I'm gonna leave the holes open. I'll show you that in a minute. This is a tray that I use. I put inside there to put esbin inside and just helps it burn a little bit better I think. And then in there I've also got another trusty little tin of birch bark might be a birch bark addict. All right. so take some birch bark and stick it in there. I do have some hand sanitizer that I can throw in there as well if this doesn't want to get going. Here come the noise makers. All, right. all this stuff, keep it all together in my stove pouch. Things go in there so I don't lose them. All right, and 
socket, my trusty clipper lighter. I'm just gonna get that birch bark going, hopefully. Hopefully, I think I need a refill on the lighter. I also have a ferro rod with me and lifeboat matches. So, you know, be prepared and all that. All right, there we go. Turn this around, see? There we go. Stove's going in a container. I've got the grate on there. I'm going to put the uh, the bacon on first. We'll cook the bacon and then we'll get the eggs going. I do have my Crusader stove with me. I can cook them both at the same time. It's probably faster. I might do that, but for now, I'm going to enjoy this. I almost forgot my trusty aluminum pie plant ash plate down here to catch anything that falls through, just in case. Really simple setup, but that stove works great. Hopefully, it's my best option today in the wind. If you can see, it's, it's pretty windy out here. All right, time for bacon. Oh my. Cold steel pan, Deluxe from Steel Chris Head. Chris had steel. Oh my gosh, I need coffee. I should have bought coffee instead of hot chocolate. Cheese said, Chris, thank you very much. Get that on there. And I got a half a pack of the new, the new size bacon. 375 grams instead of 500. Shrinkflation is real, friends. Alright. Get some bacon going here for everybody. Everybody loves the bacon. Eggs are really quick. We're just going to scramble them. Nothing fancy. Let me try and fit five pieces in here. We'll go in first. What the heck? I might as well throw it all in, right? I put it all in. Then I'm going to add a little bit of water just to help get it going and distribute the heat. feel inclined to do a lattice, really fancy, whoops, arrangement of baking in my pan. Really hungry, so it's just going in there. That. And then we got our trusty water bottle here. My muskrat gym sticker fell off. But she said, Chris, Carolina Chris outdoors. Thank you all my friends who send me stuff and good wishes and comments on the YouTube video. It really means a lot. There we go. Alright, we'll let that go. And then soon we'll make the eggs. The girls are getting the eggs ready. We're doing scrambled. So they're going to break them into the Tupperware. Put the shell over there. That's it. I'm scared. What do you mean you're scared? You're just cracking an egg. It's okay, babe. You have an interesting technique. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. Everybody does things their own way. It's quite all right. All right. The girls have cracked the eggs. They're all no, in our rubber <laughs> made. are going to make sure the lid is on. Okay. And then I can take turns. What are you doing? What? <laughs> scramble in the eggs. No, can I scramble? Yeah, you can scramble them too. There we go. Scr don't drop it though. <laughs> All right, the eggs are being scrambled. <laughs> Good news, I did remember my little bag, so I have my seasoning kit in here. Uh, there's, we've seen this before. There's uh, onion, garlic, salt, pepper, slap your mama, and some sriracha seasoning in there. And then in this little fireball bottle is the very last of my Texas Pete. So we have a little bit of Texas well, pea hot sauce found. with our breakfast, right? That's what we found a few days ago. We found the, the last bottle of sriracha sauce. Yeah, we found the last bottle of sriracha sauce in our kitchen right now. We were at the All right, change of plans. The kids are getting hungry, so I've taken the bacon out of my trusty pan here. Okay. We've got some butter in there now, and we're going to uh, make our eggs.
You're gonna go do parkour to stay warm? Yes, come on. No, no, no. All right, we got our bacon going on over there in the Crusader stove. Butter is starting to melt over here, so we're very carefully gonna add my eggs. There we go, eggs and bacon coming up. It is so cold out here, and the bacon on the or the butter on the side of the pan hasn't even melted yet. I don't think my bacon's gonna go. My Crusader stove does not want to stay lit. So. We're gonna do the best we can. We're gonna give up on that. We're gonna cook these eggs and then we're gonna throw the bacon onto the pellet stove, which is humming along pretty nicely. All right, we'll pop some tomato. I used half of one last night for snacks. So I've still got a half of one left in here. I'm just gonna make a few slices. I don't know if Abby's gonna want any. I think Athena is. Definitely. I like three, I think. Oh my god, that wind is so cold and is so tenacious. It keeps. It's making us cold, but I think I'm gonna have my fire and my little crusader kit. So we're modifying breakfast. And we're gonna do. Buns, eggs, cheese, and tomatoes. A little hot sauce and salt pepper. Hot chocolate. It's gonna be delicious. All right, I'm gonna get my bun going. So we have croissant buns, cheese. I'm gonna start off with the Texas Pete and my trusty Fireball model. Spread that around. I'm gonna use my trusty tomato spreader here to do that. Two tomatoes for me. Cheese. Wish I brought lettuce. But I didn't. I don't know what it is. There we go. All right. And now I'm just waiting for the handy dandy eggs. I almost forgot. I gotta treat my potato or my tomatoes good. A little pepper. Whoop! Maybe a little too much pepper. <laughs> oh, definitely too much salt. I am so cold. All right, there we go. Salt, pepper, cheese, eggs coming up. All right, our eggs are starting to get eggy. Two hands for this. My stove is a little bit wobbly because I built bent one of the one of the pot rest legs. Right, there we go. Nice buttery scrambled eggs coming up. I'm gonna go do this with two hands. The eggs should be ready. She's fed. They're running on hot chocolate. It's pretty chilly out here, so we can get some fuel in their bodies. You know, some days are just like that. I get my stove going, got my eggs finally cooking, and <laughs> I hope your day is going better than mine. I'm gonna go turn mine around, I'm gonna go find a chip truck, and I'm gonna have poutine for breakfast. We're home. It's almost done. Let's make the eggs. <sighs> but this part to... <laughs> eggs. Scrambling.
I don't mind cooking breakfast twice. I just hate it when round one ended up on the ground. Squirrels and coons. Oh, it was so frustrating. All right, there we go. Scrambled eggs, croissants, bacon, cheese for one, and a little baby bottle of sriracha hot sauce. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're eating well today. Hope your morning goes a lot smoother than mine did. Get out there, get some fresh air, get some sunshine, and eat well today. All right, my turn. Egg. Go right in the pan with the bacon. Broke my yolk. Oh, I can't have anything nice today. Shapers. I'm not adding any salt or pepper to that because I got all the salt and pepper on my tomatoes already. <laughs> Look, my yolk made a heart. Alright, I'm going for the egg flip. Wish me luck. Voila! I didn't drop it! <laughs> Alright, turn that off. That so it can melt and then super peppery salty tomatoes. All right, it started out a little rough, but there it is bacon and egg breakfast sandwich with cheese and egg on a croissant bun. Oh, have a wonderful day, my friends.